in the critical path method in short cpm the cost time slope of an activity is given by option a crash cost minus normal cost upon crash time option b is normal cost upon crash time minus normal time option c is crash cost upon crash time minus normal time and option d is crash cost minus normal cost upon normal time minus crash time so let's see what among these will represent the cost time slope of an activity in this diagram we can see time is placed on x axis and cost on the y axis this green color curve is representing the graph of time taken by an activity or the duration of an activity versus the cost incurred as per the activity duration so let's say if we take a point on which the normal time taken by activity is tn then the corresponding cost incurred in doing that activity can be projected using the graph so this is c now let's say we are crashing the activity duration to some other time tc and because this crashing is happening uh, there will be additional resources going in in order to complete the activity faster and hence the cost will increase now this cost can also be projected using this graph let this cost be cc so we have two cost values one is the crash cost another is the normal cost and two time duration values one is crash time another is normal time slope of this curve in between the two points can be approximated to a straight line let's say that the straight line is this so depending upon the flatness of this curve we can accordingly approximate it to a straight line slope of this straight line can be calculated by taking difference between these two cost and dividing by difference between the time duration in general slope is y by x here we have the coordinate that is y to be the cost so we take crash cost minus normal cost this difference divided by normal time duration normal time duration is a higher value so tn minus tc that is crash time so our answer here is cost time slope is equal to crash cost minus normal cost divided by normal time minus crash time duration and this is given in option d so let's mark option d as the answer to study cost time graph in detail you can refer to the nptel video lecture 39 time cost trade off crashing from the course operations management by dr inderdeep singh department of mechanical and industrial engineering iit roorkee I hope this will help you solve your doubt. Thank you.